Hello everyone, I'm Puriya Ahmadi, PhD in Mechanical Engineering, and in this video we are trying to calculate equilibrium constant Kp for thermodynamic properties or for thermodynamic examples. Therefore, we need to first go to thermodynamic tables. Therefore, in this video, I'm trying to use a table, equilibrium uh, constant table, by um, Dr. Yunus Chengel Thermodynamic and Engineering Approach book. So let's get it started. Um, okay, as you already know, the um, equilibrium constant, Kp, um, can be given as a function of temperature. Simply, when we want to calculate equilibrium constant for any given reaction, what we usually do, if you get back to your thermodynamic background, Kp was, is equal to exponential of minus delta G divided by R multiplied by T, where delta G is, is a Gibbs free energy difference between products and reactants, and R is universal plus constant number, and T is temperature, which should be given in Kelvin in this case. However, in order to calculate all those thermodynamic tables, you, depending on your reaction, what you need to do, you need to first go to thermodynamic tables, calculate enthalpy, calculate uh, entropy as a function of pressure and temperature, and do the simplification, and at the end, you can get delta G, then do the multiplication, then eventually you get equilibrium constant. However, in this case, the table is given, and we are trying to find equilibrium constant for a given reaction as a function of temperature. So why we need to do this? Because in thermodynamic table, when you do the energy system modeling and optimization, you need to vary and calculate equilibrium constant when you do the optimization. Therefore, in this case, for example, if you can, if we look at all this temperature, this column here, um, temperature 1000, 12000 degree Kelvin is given, but in this case, for example, 1300 is not given in this table. So what we need to do in order to be able to calculate this equilibrium constant here, for example, for this reaction, CO2, which is a disso dissociation of carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide and oxygen. Okay, if you look at these numbers, equilibrium constant for a temperature 1300 is not even. Okay, what, what, how, how we can calculate this one using this table? We need to do the interpol interpolation here in this case. Okay, today I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna teach you how to use this table as a um, function in MATLAB. Okay, so let's get started and using MATLAB. In this case, I'm using MATLAB 2018B, and I want to teach you how to use interpolation in uh, MATLAB. Okay, if you look at this table, what I did, I want to calculate equilibrium constant for this reaction, CO2, gives us CO plus 1 over 2 oxygen, O2, at the, uh, at the temperature of 1300. So, I need to not 1300 at any given temperature. Therefore, I need these data here, temperature from 298 degree all the way down to 6000 degree Kelvin. I already entered that in MATLAB. So, as an array here. If you look at these uh, numbers here, these are exactly those were already given uh, in uh, Eunice Chengel book. Okay. And at the same time, for this reaction, I enter all of these uh, numbers here, similar to that temperature. Okay, let's get back to that one and look at this uh, Kp. So this is equivalent for a minus 290 degrees Celsius, like here. And this is its equivalent Kp. Okay, so first of all, let's plot the variation of Kp with respect to T. Okay, if we plot T and Kp, let's see what will happen. Okay, sorry, the Kp should be capital Kp here. Okay, look at here. So why these uh, why these numbers are here? 
if you look at that thermodynamic table, we have some sort of limited data there. Therefore, these are sharp angle here. What if I want to calculate any equilibrium constant, Kp, at any given temperature? So let's get started. Let's do CLC. Here, if I use inter 1, I inter 1 because I want to do uh, interpolation for one column x and y. Okay, in this case, I give them t as an input and kp, kp. Okay, so at, at which temperature my intention was to calculate at 1300 degree Kelvin. Okay, let's calculate. If I enter, then answer is minus 15.82. Okay, so let's get back to that table for, for this reaction here. This was my reaction. Let's see if I can highlight that one. Uh, no, I cannot highlight that one. And uh, 1300 is a number between 1200 and 1400. If I go there for this reaction, so the number should be something between minus 30 and minus 70. And the results give me minus 15 is correct in this case. So why I need to do this one? For example, for any energy systems that you are going to investigate and study and uh, do the parametric study, we need to use these numbers. So depending on your condition and which kind of combustion reaction are you trying to solve, you just use this table in your MATLAB file, uh, any of these reactions. So mostly if, if you are dealing with combustion, we are basically trying to address this CO2 and uh, this NO uh, formation because most of the uh, combustion chamber in a real gas turbine power plant is dealing with these two um, reactions. So, of course, depending on the temperature range, you could have some association of hydrogen and um, oxygen as well but at high temperature. And in this case, using this uh, function, you can easily calculate your equilibrium constant and use your simulation for any larger energy systems, such as thermal power plants, gas turbine power plant, combined cycle power plants, and even you can go beyond other electrochemical reaction like electrolyzer and fuel cell. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and you can subscribe this uh, video for your friends. And thank you very much, and all the best.